Hello, this is Don Wilson, Applications Engineer for the Xantrex brand of Schneider Electric. One of the most common questions I get relates to how hard is it to replace an older, outdated inverter to a newer model, and how is the remote cable handled, since Xantrex Freedom SWs use its Cat5 cable and the older inverters use a phone cable. Actually, there's no need to change the cable at all. You can do this easy swap out by using our new remote cable adapter or using our advanced Combox and Android app. Our friends from Green Country RV Doctor called us recently to let us know they were going to do one of these swap outs. I've decided to join him and share his experience with you folks. So let's go see how he's doing. How you doing, Jim? Great to see you again, Don. Glad you could make it today. Thanks for inviting us. This is great. Well, here at Green Country RV Doctor, we're going to do a simple little project, what we like to call the drop and swap, where we're going to take a uh, Magnum inverter and we're going to swap it out for the Xandrax Freedom SW3012. And we're going to show everybody just how simple it is to do this. Okay, let's get started. Okay. You know, at Green Country RV Doctor, we like to offer our customers the most reliable equipment available. And that's why we choose Xandrax new system. And it offers us a lot of flexibility, reliability. Uh, one of the key features that we really enjoy or are able to utilize is the new Zambus feature. Now, with the new Zambus, we now have the option to not even run a cable. We can use the existing cable and through a simple adapter hooked to the existing cable, we can we can utilize all of the Zambus features um, by using the new Zambus remote. Um, another thing that we really like about this inverter is we have our DC and our AC connectors on the same side. Um, most of the time we run into cable length issues. By having that, we see that as a positive. Um, this inverter also offers us the, the surge, the extra surge power that we need for a coach this size. We have a tremendous amount of AC connected to this inverter. Um, let's go ahead and get this thing kicked off. Uh, let's get my techs in here. William, why don't you go ahead and tell us a, a few things about this inverter and, and what makes it so appealing to us. Let's go ahead and get it spun around so you can see all the connections. One of the reasons as installers that we really like this product has a lot to do with the flexibility. Uh, we have a little bit more communication uh, connections here that you normally see, say, on the Magnum. And that's one of the reasons we've chosen the, the Zanbus system and the, the Zantrek system over the Magnum. Uh, we utilize a more of a networking cable now system over the traditional remote and battery sensor. We're still going to use the battery temperature and monitor sensor, but we're not going to use the traditional remote cable. Using the Zanbus system, it allows for full networking communication. Uh, we also have a stacking connection here that allows us to run more than one uh, inverter together, uh, and this ties them together. They communicate a little bit closer with each other. Uh, in this application, though, we're going to utilize more uh, a new system that is an interface that allows us to take the traditional Ethernet cord and use more traditional two-pair phone communication cable. This lets us still use all the features of the Zambus. It allows us to do everything from the SCP at the front of the coach uh, and control all the aspects, programming, profile, uh, switching it on and off, uh, as well as just diagnostics. And those are really good points, William. And, and back to our, our cable hookup, that is a big selling point. And it is a, a big selling point for us because on some of these coaches, and you know, it can take us up to five hours to run a new cable. Yeah, now this, this makes our job. The existing cable. This does make our job yes. a lot simpler. Uh, uh, you know, one of the other things that you that you touched on was the Zambus and the stacking capabilities. We now have the ability to meet today's needs of our customer, but as they expand and as technology grows, we can stack these and we've taken care of their future needs at the same time. William, let's go ahead and get this install started. All right, sounds good. Step one, we're going to go ahead and disconnect our uh, positive lead from our house batteries to the inverter.
Step two, we're gonna go ahead and disconnect our Shoreline AC power cord. Step three, we're gonna disconnect the AC in and out from the inverter. Step four, we're now gonna disconnect the battery cables from the inverter back to the battery bank. Step five, we're now gonna remove the battery temperature sensor and the remote communication cable. Step six, we're gonna go ahead and remove the old magnum inverter at this point. Step seven, we're now installing the new Freedom SW inverter. Step eight, we're gonna complete our uh, AC wiring connections. Now we're gonna go ahead and install our cover plate over that panel. And as Jim mentioned earlier, all the connections on this unit are on this one side, which is gonna make it simpler for us to install both the AC and the DC cables during this part of the process. And that completes our AC connections. Step nine. In this step, we're gonna go ahead and make our connections for our DC cables. 
connecting our battery negative, our chassis ground, and then we'll connect our uh, battery positive. Screws already set in it. And they both just came up. And that completes our DC cable connections. In this step, we're going to go ahead and make our connections with the communication cable. We're going to use their new little uh, interface module that allows us to go from a regular Ethernet back to a standard double pair uh, communication cable or phone cable, if you will. All right, now we're going to move into uh, removing the old controller and installing our new SCP control box. One of the beneficial features with using the new interface that the, the Xantrax has come up with is we're going to be able to use the traditional or the original. Too many keys. Uh, phone cord with the adapter, red side being for the control, black is, all, is the one that's used down at the actual uh, inverter. At this point we can now go ahead and reinstall our controller. And that's how simple it is to install the SCP. Now for step 12, we're gonna go ahead and reconnect our uh, cables to our house batteries. Now that we've hooked up DC power to the inverter, we're gonna go ahead and run a systems check. To use the system control panel, there's some soft keys at the bottom of the screen here. And the soft keys are the commonly used uh, functions that you'll wanna to use. To change the soft keys, you'll push the function button and it'll take it to the, to the screen you see above the function button. So to go to the home screen, we'll push the function button and this will give you your enable inverter or, or charger uh, soft keys. You push to it, Enable or disable the inverter, or enable or disable the charger. You can also go to shore functions and change your incoming shore breaker amps, depending on what you're plugged into. There's also a screen for the autogen start to set the autogen start to its typical functions. To control specific devices, you 
select the menu button, select the device you want to control, and hit enter. It'll give you some basic information on the screen. You can scroll down to change certain functions. For instance, search mode. To change a function, you press enter, change the displayed value, and press enter to accept. If you decide you don't want to change that value, you can always hit the function key to back out of that without making the change. You can go into deeper menus, like basic settings, to change your battery size and type the same way. Enter to change the, the value, press the down button to the value you want, and press enter to accept. And then press the function button to get back to the main screen. You know, William, with the Xantrex Zanbus system, it really offers a lot of flexibility in how you put your systems together. Yeah, I know. You know, more and more today, we're seeing people using everything from their smartphones, their tablets, to, to get online to control various as aspects of their life. So they can do the same thing now with their coaches. Yeah, with our Xantrex Combox, which is a basically a Zanbus to TCP IP bridge, you can take all of the features of Zanbus and put it on your tablet or your smartphone. Any type of Android-enabled device gives you the ability to load their software app, if you will, and uh, log into your device. You can get in, you can see all aspects from controlling, turning the inverter on, off, setting your breaker controls, timing, including controlling an AGS if you have installed as well. Another feature is if you wanted to look at historical information. For instance, let's click on the battery icon. You can look at battery state of charge history, voltage history, also compare it to other things like grid input. And actually compare the two values, which gives you a lot of troubleshooting information for things that happened before you're actually looking at it. And from an installer perspective, this is a really neat device because we can put it just about anywhere in the coach as long as you're installing it in an area that is environmentally protected. It's just a few simple connections, sync up the system, test it, load your app, and you're good to go. So basically, this is just going to give you more functionality, more control over your system, uh, and it can be used instead of using the traditional SCP control panel, or it can be used in conjunction, just furthermore giving you the expandability of the system. Exactly. William, we just completed an install using a Xandrax SW3012 inverter, and it looked to me like the install went pretty smooth. How do you feel about it? Jim, I couldn't agree with you more. With the uh, surge capacity on this inverter, the Zanbus technology, and now with the introduction of the RAF uh, adapter, it allows us to take that Zanbus technology, utilize it in a coach that already has that four pin phone communication cable. It makes it simple. You know, and from a tech standpoint, we just love it. That's great. You know, William, I'd really like to thank Don and the guys from Xantrax for coming down and their continued support. It sure makes our lives a whole lot simpler. Green Country RV Doctor is a repair facility. We do anywhere from pop-ups to the largest of major motorhomes. One of the things that we've gotten into recently is doing full conversions. Uh, by doing the full conversions, we run into a lot of new electronic challenges. And because of those challenges, we have paired up with Xandrax Corporation, which has helped us out in a lot of different ways as far as being able to match the electronics that we need for the customer's future needs. Our values at Green Country RV Doctor is to try to give our customers the best quality service and the best parts available on the market today. The Freedom SW is probably one of the best, if not the best, on the market today. It offers a lot of expandability, dependability, and reliability that we're not seeing in the other inverter lines. One of the things that we really like about this system is the new Zanbus, which is a real-time communication system that allows us to go in and access any information or make changes in a real-time manner.
at Green Country, we've, we've had the unique opportunity to rebuild a, a Wonder Lodge motor home. Um, it's a big class A, really nice RV. It unfortunately was T-boned and the electronics, plumbing, um, LP systems were all tore out of it. We get to, or get the opportunity to put this rig back together and, and make the customer a very nice modern rig thanks to the new technologies that we're putting into it. We really like the Freedom SW inverter. The new technologies or options that they offer far exceed anything else out on the market. Uh, we have the ability with the real time through the ZAM bus, we can now tie it into a network and we can access any customer's inverter with, and diagnose issues right over the telephone. Uh, we have a large surge capacity with that and we can also daisy chain these units and run more than one so we can not only meet today's customer needs but we can meet their future needs. We're paired with Xandrax for a specific reason. We elect to use the Xandrax product line, especially the SW, on any of our Class A, what we call a drop and swap. Expandability, reliability, and dependability, along with the new technologies that they now offer, make it a seamless installation every time. I would highly recommend to any dealer or repair facility like us to consider the Freedom SW inverter anytime they're doing an, an upgrade from older technology to new.